Do you know what I've been doing? Do you know what this is? It's rainwater. And in today's video, Lenny, we're gonna be talking about using tap water and citric acid on some of your outdoor orchids. Stay tuned. <laughs> And welcome on back. Now remember, here on Orchids for Dummies, it's going to be a no judgment zone. So this is what I use to collect my rainwater. Some of you guys in the plant community, the um, garden community, you use these things, these buckets, to um, plant your um, garden in. But in the orchid community, we use these buckets, Daddy. We use these buckets to collect some rain water. Now, remember, I'm a new channel, so I don't have a lot of money. So, this is all that I'm going to be able to collect my rain water in. That is why I am using citric acid and tap water for my outdoor orchids. Stay tuned. And welcome on back, new beginners. Now, like I said, this is going to be something that is going to... Bring the pH down in my acidic tap water. New beginners, if you did not know, that the water out of your tap is going to be very acidic. Like I said, it's early in the morning. It's in no judgment zone. Okay? So, I just wanted to show you guys how much citric acid per gallon I am using. Okay? You really want to know how much citric acid I'm about to put in this water. Here in the South, we call this a pinch, okay? I think you could say that this would be one-eighth of a teaspoon, okay? I think it's going to be just a pinch. And like I said, I've been using this for um, at least eight months. And I'll show you my orchids, which are doing very well, okay? They're doing very well. Like I said, I'm doing th that much per gallon. But I'm only going to put about a gallon of water in here, okay? And like I said, what it does, new beginners, is it brings the pH down in your tap water, okay? Because the tap water is very acidic, okay? It will burn your roots, okay? So stay tuned. Now, Pal Pals, in the summertime, let me remind you that you want to water your orchids early in the morning or late in the evening. That is the best time that your or orchids are going to intake all of that water, okay? Stay Tell tuned. Me citric acid is not gonna work on your outdoor orchids. Now my indoor orchids, I still will collect rainwater. Now until I'm able to move into my dream home and have a big barrel to collect rainwater, this is what I have to do, okay? This is what I have to do. This broke off or fell off last night, but as you can see, people said that this was dead. And as you can see, it's not dead at all. It's not dead at all. Now your outdoor and your indoor Phalaenopsis is gonna be a little differently. This is her first time out and um, she's gonna be okay. But I just wanted you guys to see that this is one of the Phalaenopsis that is receiving this tap water and um, citric acid. So that lets you know that it works for them as well. Okay. This is my cat Leah. And as you can see, she's about to bloom, boo boo kitty. She's about to bloom. Okay. And my dendrobium. Angel Love Vivid. As you can see, she's about to bloom. So, baby, this citric acid, it really worked for the girls. It worked for the girls. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It worked for them. Okay, I had a lot of people cuss me out for using citric acid on my orchids. They cussed me out. And as you can see, baby, my orchids are doing just fine. They're doing just fine. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, they yes they are. The proof is going to be in the pudding. It's in the pudding. Welcome on back, foul pals. So, watering my outdoor orchids using citric acid and tap water. Now, when it comes to fertilizing it, okay, this is about a gallon of water, maybe a little bit over. 
When it comes to fertilizing, this time I'm using Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate. And I'm gonna use some Better Grow Orchid Plus with the macro and minor elements, okay? And I already have some garden lime in their pots, which is gonna be providing them extra calcium. So that's gonna be a well-balanced diet, okay? So when I um, add these fertilizers in, like I said, it's gonna be about a pinch, okay? Now the first thing I'm gonna do is put the pinch of Epsom salt inside, and then I'm gonna mix it up. I'll wait a minute, and then I'll use the same amount of the Better Grow Orchid Plus. Let it sit for a minute, and then I'll start letting my orchids soak. Well, Val Pals, I hope that this helps you. I hope that you are learning about outdoor orchids along with me. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment box below, honey. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Until next time.